Saturday morning cartoons with me. Thank you for being here. Yes, this is not an appropriate uh, animated show for Saturday morning cartoons, but it's uh, not great. And nonetheless, it's amazing. Uh, Spawn animated series on HBO, episode number three. This is uh, No Rest, No Peace, and basically we get Overt Kill. So if you are not familiar with the series, this is based on uh, comic books, uh, issues number six and seven. And it's Spawn is uncovering and remembering and piecing together his life and who he was. He's been, of course, dead for five years. He's come back as a hellspawn, a pawn of uh, the uh, Malbogia and the clown and the violator is the one supposed to keep him in line. They've already had their conflict. So now um, he's in more uh, street crime with um, those in the alleyway there, uh, not understanding uh, being caught in the mafia and all of that. This is just still... Beautiful storytelling, very graphic and hardcore. The mob, of course, brings in um, Overkill to bring him in. He's basically a cyborg bounty hunter, as you can see just here. Now, I want to get. I'm going to get to where this is. This is an episode where they really radically diverge from the comic book source material, and they kind of did a disservice to in the audience. So, if you've never read the comic book, I'll try to give you a couple of pieces on why I feel that way. But I'm also I feel like this is um, proof. That this is very similar to Batman animated series. Like this is this is the Spawn in a different universe. It's its own thing, the HBO universe. So Spawn, the comic book universe, Spawn, the HBO universe. We now really have a, a nice divergence where we kind of speed up the storyline. We kind of make some we we make some creative decisions and creative licenses. Obviously, we talked about the graphic violence and the nudity and those kinds of things are much more common here in the HBO show than even in the comic book. But as you can see, Overkill is a, a very formidable bounty hunter. Sam and Twitch are on, Sam and Twitch are on the case, doing their investigation, and uh, says, "You know, hero, be me at midnight," kind of thing. Um, what I really love about all this is how Spawn doesn't really understand his powers yet. So this is very, very interesting because we're seeing the journey as he's battling and losing, losing badly, um, to the point where he doesn't quite exactly know like what he's even capable of. Like he's still experimenting. He's still learning. The narration is really what drives everything. Well, Keith David's voice, but the narration kind of helps you know how, you know, each Hellspawn returns to where their, their comfort zones, right? Different things that they do. And it's no surprise. That's what we get from Al Simmons, who basically turns and robs like a, mitil, uh, a military CIA outfit to get a bunch of guns and things like that. And so for those of you, somebody asked me, um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What those little, um, timestamps these things are, those are power meters. So a spawn starts at nine, 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 and sort of counts down to when they run out of juice basically. And then their, their soul is lost to hell. So that's something to keep an eye on is as, as he's using energy and as he's fighting different things, th that counter will go down. So that's kind of what that's supposed to represent. Um, Anyway, so it's a lot of street level crime and things like that. And again, I think this is where folks that really love Batman, like myself, really always had an affinity for Spawn. First off, I do love the cape. I love the chains. So it's like Ghost Rider meets Batman, <laughs> right? I, I got chains. I got a cape. I got everything that I'm interested in and that I love about other comic books in this one book. And I really enjoyed seeing the adaptation. Um, that's before we get to scene one. So now, this is, again, the painful side of, of um, what we see with Spawn. We have a little bit of some of that story. And then we get, because uh, she's working at a lawyer to get this criminal off. So there's a criminal that's on basically death row for the murder of these children. And, you know, we know there's a setup. We know there's more to that story. And it's kind of, un it's unpacking in this episode as well. And then you get to um, the sort of celebratory time with Wanda and Spawn sees this, right? Where is that shot? Uh, yeah, Sad Spawn. I get it, get it just right for Sad Spawn. Oh, I can't get it. I don't want to get in trouble here because it's definitely graphic. But we have Sad Spawn. We can't find it. I can't find it. Anyway, so Sad Spawn, we end up in a, we end up in a club and we have our first look at Chapel as well in a flashback sequence. Yeah, there's a lot of inappropriate stuff going on in this episode. Um, let me see here. Do we <clears throat> no, hey, Chapel. Yeah, so Chapel is uh, shown here briefly. 
Um, but let me go back to Overkill because Overkill, this battle back and forth Overkill is in like the first half of this episode before Spawn turns um, to uh, back to the uh, the mafioso. Um, but I want to show you like what we kind of got robbed because you do get robbed a little bit. Sorry, guys. Um, if you've never read the comic, you may not know this, but this is how the confrontation kind of comes to a head in um, issue number seven. And you can see how um, McFarlane draws Overkill. Overkill is massive compared to him, right? Um, and there's all sorts of talking smack and those kinds of things, right? And then he goes, now I'm going to stomp you so I can scrape you off my boot, you piece of turd, right? And then just blows shots of it just 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 crams it up inside of him and then it, and again if you have the actual physical copy this is a landscape image and then of course another shot another shot another shot and then you basically have this shot of overkill going malfunction 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 there's just nothing left of him and it's just this head and then uh, an eye and then pieces of him so he's just he's just he's just completely destroyed and mutilated and all of that I don't exactly know why that got left out. Cause I felt like this episode does drag a little bit with the mafioso part. Like we didn't cut back to that and drag that out. I felt like we could have tightened this episode up a little bit, maybe even save Chapel for um, another episode. And basically all of that moves um, pretty fast. Again, the show is fantastic. It's, it's, it's dark. It's great. It's everything you want for the spawn universe. I mean, of course and it, set, it ends by setting up who the real baby killer, the real serial killer of children is that's B Billy Kincaid. And of course, Billy Kincaid is, um, he's brought back in this new Spawn verse as well. So Billy Kincaid is a, a character of note, shall we say, um, just a monster of an individual. Um, and I, I love the fact that, um, and maybe I'm wrong, I don't know exactly why it says this online um, with the way it describes the Spawn animated series. They call him Overkill, not Overkill. I don't know, it's always been called Overkill with a T in it, but that was also a different change I didn't know, but... I gotta be honest, everything about the show is is sort of in line with how I feel about the Batman show. It, it's it's beautifully executed. It's not quite as cinematic and different because they didn't have different, they don't have as many different creators on it as the Batman show did. So you don't get quite so many different flavors of things. You don't have that rogue gallery to pull from, right? You have definitely, he, yeah. McFarlane is kind of going systematically through the story that he's created. What is interesting is what will come next because now we're into where McFarlane had brought in other great writers like Alan Moore and Frank Miller, other creators to come in and contribute to his book during that 90s run. So anxious to see how this uh, plays out over the next few episodes. Haven't revisited this series in years, so it's great to do that with you guys. So love to hear from you. If you're we're watching the show, if you've never seen it or not, it, 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 it definitely is streaming on Max. There are copies, the physical copies available out there for like 10, 15 bucks, relatively economical. Um, so things like that are out there as well. So Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate your time. Take care, everybody. I am Pops.